How's it going YouTube? And today I'm going to do another smart meter teardown. This time it is of the iTron C1S series meter. And these here are probably the best selling meter of all time. Because they come in many different flavors. This here is just the base one. So that's why I'm going to tear it down just to show you a generic inside. But these come in a whole different array of like advanced metering, standard metering, smart metering. This one here is just a plain C1S. These ones up here are a C1SD. And then here's a C1ST meter. T is for time of use. But I just wanted to show you everyone the quality of the insides of these meters because these are really well built. And that's also one of the reasons why they are the best selling meter of all time. Now these meters were introduced in 1999 and they were the first ever reliable and economical um, digital meter and it's dusty from being in a box for so long. But here's the factory seal, I will remove that. And to open it, They have a watertight seal, so they're very difficult to open. If I'm going to even be able to do it by hand at all. Now with the cover twisted off, simply comes right off like that. And now it is just the base or the uh, meter itself. Now this cover here is kind of like a clip-on fit. These tabs here clip onto it, so you have to And with a little bit of messing around, it does come off. And then this is the insides. So as you can see, you just have the LCD screen. Then you have your circuit board. And then here is the part where the iTron meter is the best one on the market. You have these huge copper lugs in there for the uh, transmission of power and they're directly welded onto these uh, copper based but a uh, like galvanized uh, prongs that stick into the meter base and as you can see that is some serious copper in there you have your uh, transformer there and then since this is just a base meter, it doesn't have the chips that can go in there for the smart metering. As you can see, they slide right in and go plug onto that bus bar back there with all the uh, fins. So on the chip here, you have a, this is a Texas instrument chip. Let me zoom in on that. The lighting's not going to be good, sorry, but it is a Texas Instrument number 84EV8LTG4, if I didn't get any of those wrong. That is the microprocessor for this meter. You have a capacitor down here for powering the internals and all of that fun stuff. And then you have one right up here to absorb surges or peaks in power so all the people complaining oh my smart meter is emitting 900 hertz into my electric system that is all BS because that absorbs any high voltages or any abnormal frequencies and that's just the bus bar where, where all the uh, 
cards that you can put in this will plug into. There is for the optional um, optical tower, such as one right here. And then you have your plastic frame here. And this is all fire resistant plastic, none of this is flammable, of course. As you can see, they're a very well built meter. And to reassemble, And that's it. Catch you in the next video.